Hello my friends, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. We're gonna talk about the phenomenon Messi. Yeah, because all over the world it's all about Messi at the moment, okay? People forgot about the transfer news about their own teams to talk about uh, Messi because he is Messi. Yeah, that's how Messi have been. <laughs> if you can see what I'm trying to say here messy and mess and all that anyways guys all the jokes aside leo messi officially joined psg and my goodness people are queuing outside for hours and hours to get his shirt just the shirt how many shirt of messi been sold so far around the world so psg made uh a very good decision here because i don't care what people are going to say they are paying a lot of money more than 35 million a year or something like that but messi is a brand messi is going to bring you more attention more money to your team more commercials so pretty much messi pays himself if that makes sense and i still believe that barcelona made a huge mistake letting messi go but it is what it is it's in the past and he is he is uh, a psg player at the moment and we have to respect that because there's nothing you can do to change it at the moment so i try to come up with some talking point or some point that i've learned you know i wanted to make it five points but how can you make five point for somebody like messi <laughs> you can make thousands of points about Messi. So I'm going to just go with my talking point. The, you know, the, 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 the things that I've learned from this transfer saga. And anything that will come through my mind, I'm going to have just to say it. And until the end of the video, because I don't want to make this video too long. Everybody knows everything. Everybody is following step by step watching image. Him in Paris with all the escort, police. The, 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 the city pretty much shut down for Messi and all that. So I don't have to repeat myself because you might know even better than I do. So my first talking point is... I feel for the Barcelona fans. Yeah, I feel really bad for them. Some of them or many of them came to Barcelona because of Messi. Some of them are very young. All they know is Messi. You know what I mean? So Messi leaving the club that he joined since the age of 13 is really painful for many of them and messi pretty much paying bills for many people youtube channels i saw in the barcelona community they talk 24 7 messi 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 even if there is nothing to say about messi they will just include something messy there messy in the title so people can watch and click so we don't really realize how much money messi been producing for people feeding families and helping the world so it's more than football it's more than what you see but barcelona fans uh, barcelona community around the world can feel the pain economically because those youtube channels i don't know what they will be talking about right now because messi is gone what are you going to talk about you have to learn how to love your club instead of for uh, loving an individual you know no matter how powerful how good a player is even if you join that club for a certain player you have to learn how to love the club and how to stay with this club and not flip-flop all the time the new generation they are going to follow messi at psg so it is what it is it's modern football it's modern kid and there is no nothing you can do about it but that is the first talking point or the something that i've learned is that i feel very bad for barcelona community around the world the second talking point is going to be never say never everything is possible in football you know what i mean who would have thought a few months ago that leo messi was going to join psg you know everything apparently was in place the deal in place for him to stay at barcelona 
he even took his salary cut 50% off well even though 50% but still more than 50 million a year <laughs> that tells you how much money he was on at Barcelona but you know what I'm trying to say he took he accepted to take that money uh, money cut so he can stay at Barcelona Fabrizio Romano all the big sources say that the deal was in place it's going to happen and the last minute boom he didn't sign and he's a PSG uh, player at the moment so for people who pretend to be geniuses online oh not gonna happen Messi will never never do that to to anybody or such and such player can't play together blah 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 you have your lesson football is about business the end of the day and who would have even thought that Sergio Ramos was going to play with Messi apparently on paper they are the worst enemy in La Liga now they will be best friends in Paris, right? So, my friend, never say never in football. Never say never in life in general because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Next talking point. La Liga is officially done. I know there are so many people who are not going to agree with me, will fight it. It's okay, okay? You can stay deluded. But La Liga is officially done. A lot of debt. They can't even pay players at the moment. They are trying to borrow money from banks and try to put clubs in immense debt and all that. And Real Madrid and Barcelona say, no, we are not going to be part of that debt and we are not going to uh keep our clubs in a hostage of some banks and some investment funds and whatever so it's getting uglier and uglier in uh, in spain at the moment and for years okay everybody was talking about oh they are the best league in the world what for what for signing big stars but we figured out that all oh, those big stars were just fake you know it's just you just borrowing money the money doesn't belong to you and you want to show people that oh i got I, i'm rich i can get whoever i want but behind that there are so many things that happening that would da just damage your club so you know for years so ronaldo out messi out of la liga and then la liga is becoming an average an average league are you gonna call them a farmer's league or what league what name what nickname you gonna call the spanish uh, la liga because people have been talking about french league as a farmer's league blah 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 they forgot that they got maybe 80 percent of all the european leagues are taking players from friends you know they have the majority of the players they can train youngsters very good and they, they they produce big stars but for some reason farmers league neymar in the farmers league sergio ramos in the farmers league messi in the farmers league di maria and the list goes on so let me know what you think about the future of the spanish la liga the last talking point for this video is that it's not a walk in the park. It's not done yet. Because I heard many people already said, let's just take the Champions League trophy and give it to PSG because they're going to win everything. In the French League, okay, they can win everything. But remember, they lost last season against, uh, against Lille and they didn't even win the league. This season, they started by a defeat in the Super Cup. So, it's not because Messi just signed for PSG, Neymar, Mbappe and all the big names that they are going to win everything. It's not a walk in the park. They need to play actually on the field. Many, many things can happen. Injuries. Neymar, we know that he always played like half of the season. Okay? Messi getting older. And many people, when they play against big names, they want to show off. They want to be the best okay so it's not going to be oh messi is going to dribble pass and score 100 goals in the french la liga because people are going to study him and try to stop him so the champions league still widely open it's for everybody 
Bayern Munich, Chelsea, Man United, Man City, all the big guns can still win the Champions League. And you have to think outside the box and not give the trophy already to PSG because you might be very disappointed at the end. If the Champions League was only for big names and then Real Madrid were going to win the Champions League every season since 2000s, you know, they were going to win every single season because of big names that they were buying. Beckham, okay, look at that Galactico, Ronaldo, R9, <laughs> you know, Figo, all those people, Zidane, Owen, all big stars, Kaka, you name it. They, they couldn't even win the Champions League. So that tells you that it's not about names. You have to actually make a team. And sometimes the collective is better than having big names. Because big names mean big egos in the dressing room. And that could go wrong at some point. So let's see what Pochettino can do with this team. Do you think Pochettino is strong enough to deal with this kind of uh, egos in the dressing room? Mbappe, Neymar, Messi, Sergio Ramos, the list is on. Let's have a conversation.